Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. We are currently finishing the study of four different articles written by a prominent Teresian scholar, Father Thomas Alvarez. The article that we will begin looking at today is entitled Learning to Pray. Learning to Pray, in other words, according to Teresa of Avila. So Father tells us that Teresa did not have a method of prayer, but she did have a method of teaching prayer, a very personal and a very effective method, uniformly consistent throughout her works. As long as it was Teresa using it, it was documented to be quite effective. Initially, her success at teaching her method of prayer was limited, but as she progressed, her success rate improved. The book of her life was the result of an increase in virtue and mastery of her way of prayer and was written for her first school of prayer, a small group of friends. At the second writing of her life, the members of this group had made considerable progress. Of one, she says, One of the people who commanded me to write this book, whom the Lord has brought in four months to a point far beyond that which I have reached in 17 years. So her testimony concerning the famous, the most famous of this group, the theologian Ibanez, a man who had given up his chair of theology for a life of prayer, and died completely transformed by it, is quite moving. His prayer had reached such a degree, says Teresa, that at the time of his death, when he wanted to avoid mental prayer because of his great weakness, he couldn't on account of his many raptures. He wrote me asking what he should do. Before Teresa founded her first monastery, she was successful with an even larger number of disciples in the monastery of the Incarnation. To quote a contemporary witness, more than 40 nuns are practicing great recollection in her house. But her greatest success came when she was able to have her own group of novices in the convent of St. Joseph in Avila, and subsequently in the other convents she founded. Her own estimate of these convents was very favorable. She wrote, so many are the favors which the Lord does in the houses that though there are one or two nuns in each house whom the Lord leads by the way of meditation, all the rest attain perfect contemplation. Amen. So this is a good stopping point um, for today, and we will continue uh, with this rather lengthy uh, article written by Father talking to us about learning to pray using the method of Teresa of Avila. May God bless you and yours.